start the adventure to Millbrook. <laughs> Parking tarmac, no expense spared. So we are now looking for our hire car, B72. So, it's not good. We were offered this nice Porsche, we were offered this nice Porsche Boxster for £50 a day but we decided that since we're not hairdressers yeah we wouldn't bother seeing as we're going to drive lots of nice cars so right, how are we this is Hertz your car BW Polo Nice So Andrew and I are at Millbrook It's an absolutely stunning day and there's a fantastic selection of cars for us to, to drive so let's go and drive some Bentley W12 GT Speed. It is quite luxurious inside, I have to say. Why? We have to stop because Andrew needs his glasses. So let's uh, let's get his bag over. Today in my drive, uh, Andrew's just went for it from uh, the first corner, so I'll not make that mistake again. I have popped a travel sickness pill <laughs> just in case. RS7 and uh, yeah, it's got a bit of oomph. This is a bit tame compared to your lap, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, we don't actually have my lap recorded because Andrew couldn't work the camera properly.
So we are now in a Rolls Royce Phantom Coupe. Check this out. There's Andrew. Checking the price list. Mm -hmm. Guess of the price? Uh, 300 and something. Yes, um, <laughs> 349,000 excluding local taxes. Excellent. <laughs> A bargain. You cannot actually hear it running. Is it running? <laughs> it's running at really? the moment. Yeah. No. It is. The engine's running. Wow. <laughs> that is mental. Ah, the right. infamous power reserve. Exactly. Right. Let's go then. I feel like there should be like a brass band, you know, following us here. There's <laughs> a is, brass band in your mind. <laughs> there, there is. This is just, honestly, get a shot of the front of that. This is the most enormous thing I've ever driven. It's huge. So yes, Rolls Royce. This is very nice. Biggest car I think I've ever driven. Absolutely enormous. Completely silent. Unbelievably opulent. Not good at holding that camera in place. That's yeah. quite hard. Most expensive car you've ever driven? Uh, no. Uh, no, wait, I think so. What do you say it was 340 something? Excluding local taxis, so I'm not sure. Uh, if that then means they need to add 20% VAT onto it. So, is it the most expensive car I've driven? Well, the other thing, the other thing would be the Ferrari F12, and that's not that much. It's not 350,000. Oh, Aventador's. Aventador's maybe. 300,000. Would be up there. Uh, speed bumps. Oh, you're, you're never going to feel them in this, surely. Oh, <laughs> right over them, go on. Go right onto them. On the speed bumps. I don't even know that there. wouldn't even know there was a speed bump there. That is awesome. We, we really should all be driving this. We, we should. I can't actually think why I don't have one of these. Oh, it's got some, it's got some oomph. How much of the power reserve did you use? Uh, I'm not quite sure actually. When I get to, when we get to a quicker bit, I'll try and... There's obviously a bit of, uh, a bit of weight that we're moving around here. I'm going to try and look at the weight, but I might be sick. <laughs> Unladen weight, two and a half thousand <laughs> kilograms. Yes. Yes, I like this. I presume the radio only works in classic FM. Oh, I would have thought so. Let's put the foot down a wee bit up the hill. Let's see. <laughs> we should put the windows up just to see how actually quiet it is. Yeah. Double, Double glaze. <laughs> nice. The back window's down there. All the windows are up. <laughs> it's silent. Completely silent. You can hear my heart beating. <laughs> Faster than it usually would because John's driving around the Alpine course. The jump, the jump, the <laughs> jump! Oh! oh! I couldn't do anything at that because of that bloody Audi R8 driver. Mm -hmm. I still got flagged, but <laughs> I can. I absolutely love this. This is just the most comfortable, quiet, relaxed motoring experience I have ever had. Look how uncluttered it is. There's nothing. There's it's just three buttons, some temperature gauge. I don't know what these buttons do. Beautiful. Honestly. Absolutely fantastic. I think you can press the button on the thing. Where? Up here. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Yep. Hold it in. Maybe I'll just sit in the front. Which one's the 
seat controls, John. Eh? Now we are in the BMW M2. Uh, so we're getting to drive quite a good variety of stuff today. And uh, yeah, it'll be nice to see what the, the M2 is like. Okay, now we sit a second here. They will not want us to have this out of the car, but we'll have it. So it is now about quarter to twelve and we've just arrived back in Glasgow. It's been a long, long day but it's been so worth it. Uh, absolutely just fantastic day. 
So that's enough from us. So signing off.